Hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to see uh, a topic in economics, 12th standard uh, subject, a macroeconomical concept. So the concepts of macroeconomic are stock, flow variable, economic model. So let's see, move on to the topics. So the first concept is about stock. Uh, stock is in macroeconomical sense. Stock is nothing but uh, referring to a quantity of, uh, which is measured at a particular point of time okay uh, so for example let's take for example money supply so money supply we know what is money supply right so um, total value of money which is circulated in our economy is no, is nothing but money supply so a uh, total value of money which is circulated within our country within our nation so uh, we we are the country having the currency called uh, rupee so which is circulated within our economy so it's called money supply it's one of the example for stock okay moving on to next concept okay flow variable flow variable is a quantity which is measured over a period of time it just flows for uh, for a period of time it, it may be a yearly or monthly or even quarterly half yearly whatever let's take an example it's national income national in income is nothing but a earnings which is earned by the country or the economy uh, so it's one of the example for flow variable it flows throughout the year so you cannot uh, just say that this is the national in uh, income for the uh, for the, uh, at present at a particular point of time it just flows uh, forever okay so national income might be uh, increasing or decreasing okay so uh, it just flows it fluctuates uh, over a period of time so that's what it's an example for flow variable some of the examples for stock variable are uh, unemployment population uh, price index price index you know right so uh, some, the particular uh, product or a commodity will be fixed with the uh, particular price index okay index rate so uh, moving on to flow variable examples are gdp uh, then uh, you can say this uh, wholesale price retail price and all stuff okay it's it just keep on say uh, moving on fluctuating but in case of stock it just be fixed for a particular point of time okay okay the next concept is economic model economic model is nothing but uh, usually economists used to um, explain what their views about the economy uh, their, uh, their analysis about the economy in a simpler way simpler representations like for example mathematical equations or graphical representations and uh, even pie charts or uh, even equations and all stuff okay so uh, economic model is nothing but uh, how the economy works how the part of economy works with the economic variables variables in the sense population unemployment uh, even uh, you can see the stock price and all so you can uh, just have the view from the economist through these kind of representations these kind of models uh, so mm -hmm. that you can able to understand much better uh, the economy people like us can understand in a simpler way through this economical model okay so then uh, some of the economical models are demand and supply model smith model and uh, supply and uh, i mean sorry uh, circular flow model and so on okay now going uh, we are going to the next topic called circular okay the next topic is circular flow of income uh, so circular flow flow of income is one of the model of economics uh, which is used by the most of the economists uh, in order to represent the uh, major economic systems okay how they uh, flows in a circular way of model what are the sectors are there in uh, circular flow of income what are the sectors is involved in circular flow of income so uh, the sectors different sectors you are going to uh, see about is um, household sector 
firm, government and external sectors. So these four sectors are playing the major role uh, in case of this model, circular flow of income model. Okay. So uh, the flow, uh, flow, what the flow is. Okay. So uh, the flow is uh, related to income, the goods and services, how much you are producing it, how much ever it's consuming, uh, the consumption uh, view and the factors of production. As we know that uh, what are the factors of production, land, labor, capital and organization. So out of these flow, uh, the, uh, it just tells us what is the connection between the different sectors in the economy, how the economical activities are going. Uh, through this circular flow of income model okay so uh, let's see the models under this model there are three types one is two sector model the other one is two uh, three sector model and the final one is four sector model so let's go on to the circular flow of income in two sector model okay so um, this is the uh, flow chart of circular flow of income in two sector model okay here only two sectors has been involved one is household sector the other one is firm sector okay only two sectors are involved so this household sectors are sole buyers and also sole suppliers of goods and services sole suppliers in the sense i mean sorry sole suppliers of factors of production and sole uh, buyers of goods and services okay uh, and then this firm sector receives this factors of production from the households and in return it just gives the rent wages dividend so for factors of productions are land labor capital and organization so for land it's just giving rent and for uh, labor it, it gives wages and for capital either dividend or interest will be given okay so and also for organization it's just giving the profit or sometimes it incurs loss so it either gives profit or loss so uh, both these two sectors are mutually benefited once it receives factors of production in returns it just gives all the uh, returns out of factors okay so uh, in case of firm it just produces the goods and services and then <coughs> goods and services and then in return uh, i mean uh, just produces and it satisfies the demand of the uh, households households is nothing but they are the consumers of the goods and services they just buy goods and services in return it just gives the expenses nothing but the pay for the goods and services so that's called consumer expenditure okay so here uh, in this two sector model there is an equation called y is equal to c plus i where y represents income y represents income and c represents consumption and i represents investment so this is what the equation for two sectoral model okay next model is four sector model in this model we are going to see the four sectors involved in this model uh, the first one is household the other one is government and for uh, firms and one more has been added on to this four sector model is the external sector rest of the world nothing but the rest of the world apart from our economy we are going to purchase or sell our goods and services from the uh, other i mean to the other country okay so uh, moving on to the fourth sectorial uh, points so uh, here households will be uh, paying you tax to the government and also it gets social transfers such as pension relief funds and subsidies and so on okay so again moving on to this government uh, benefit to the firm is nothing but uh, getting purchasing goods and services from uh, from the firms and also in uh, return firms will be 
giving you tax to the government so it's a two way benefits okay so again one more sector has been added on to your model nothing but your economy is connected to the rest of the world the external sector okay so uh, this is what import and export this household sector they can purchase goods and services from firm but some resources are lacking in our economy or a country okay so those goods and services will be got from the rest of the countries okay so the rest of the world will be importing i mean sorry exporting to our country also importing uh, some of the resources or goods and materials from our own country okay this is what the four sectorial model okay thank you uh, see you in next video uh, until then uh, be safe